Welcome back to The Price of Business. I am your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. I've got Tom Terramino with us. He is the man I call the rocket scientist. He worked with NASA back in the pioneering days of the program. He is an incredible business consultant. He understands what's going on out there on the business front, helping companies of all sizes with incredible acumen, and uh, I love what he does. Tom, big blow in the last week when it comes to the space program. I hadn't seen anything like this. I've heard of accident here and accident there, but but two in one week. Breathtaking. Uh, wanted to get your perspective. But before we do this, before we jump into the topic, I'd love for you to give a little bit of background again on yourself and the work you did for NASA, just for the audience, to appreciate what you bring to this conversation. Well, top of the morning, thanks for uh, having me on today. I'm the rocket scientist, as they call us. I spent 14 years at Mission Control during Gemini and Apollo and lived the journey of winning the space race in seven years. I spent the last 45 years trying to help people understand how we did it, how we can do it again if we just make up our minds to do it. Yep, and boy, it sure seems like we need to make up our minds to do it. Now, both of these companies, these aren't uh, lackluster individuals. These are some of the brightest people in technology and science today. You had to be as shocked as I was to see both of them have this kind of incident happen. For the listener who's not familiar, both of them had rockets that blew up. One of them had a loss of life. I think uh, the Virgin uh, Project did. That's correct. first one was the explosion of the supply ship that was headed up to the space station, and it literally did explode, whether they had to push the button to abort it uh, after it took off or whether it exploded on its own. It was a disaster. The second one was Virgin Galactic. Actually, there was no explosion, apparently. The current thinking is that a computer program caused the vehicle to head for Earth instead of into low Earth orbit. A programming error? Really? Like you said, these are not slouch companies. They are buttoned up. The first one, the chatter among the space community is, they used a, an old Russian rocket to launch the thing. Did they get that on eBay or what? <laughs> there is some weird chatter going on, and you're not necessarily endorsing any of it, but why don't you share some of that with us? Are you a conspiracy theorist? Or? Well, you know what? You know, I don't know. But you know what? I think the listener might be intrigued to hear what you've heard. And you're someone who really kind of keeps abreast, not of conspiracy, but what's happening when, when it's space-related. Talk a little bit about it. If you want to dismiss theories about scalar beams and particle weapons being aimed at both of those spacecraft by our enemies, you can walk down that road. But let's get back to Earth here a bit. Take the first explosion. The standard of care in our country by all companies, has deteriorated greatly since we made up our minds to go to the moon. Even in these buttoned-up companies, we go through the motions of doing failure mode effect analysis. We do quality management system audits. We use tools. The problem, in my experience, is we're missing the fundamental commitment from the top that we don't take the time to bring everyone in and said, look, we are the new space vehicle launch transportation companies. We have to have the same work ethic that we had when the NASA team put it together serendipitously, if, we, if you will. That's what I teach. I teach that model, and I see the things missing are the leadership stepping up and saying, we are not going to hurt anybody, number one. Number two, we're all going to work together to a set of values and a set of rules. And at the end of the day, failure is not an option. I can categorically opine that that's what's missing in both of these cases. That strong resolve that was so pervasive in the 1960s. Just how much big of a role did that commonality of an enemy that the Soviets were at that time have an impact on the way uh, we operated back then? I don't know if I'd call it the enemy, but they were ahead of us in the space race. That was the gauntlet that was thrown down as, hey, America, we've been number one in everything. What about this space race? How could we have possibly gotten behind the Russians? And I think that was the call to arms. we got to get to the moon first. I'd just like for us to today say, we got to do something first, regardless of what it is. We've lost that desire to be first. I think you're absolutely right. Tom Terramina, he is a really great contributor here on The Price of Business. His website is itwasrocketscience.com. Itwasrocketscience.com. His, his firm, the Termina Group, is helping people take their business to the next level. Tell us a little bit about what you do for business owners out there and, and types of companies you work with. My fundamental training is as a quality control engineer. I look at 
companies, not particularly from quality, but looking at the company from the overall effectiveness of, of how they put commodities into the value stream or provide services. We start with the with whoever's in charge, whoever the, the decision maker is, and find out what they're made of. Sometimes it's quite an interesting retreat in a cabin somewhere, but the companies where the owner is committed to a vision, mission, and a set of values and is willing to share them with everyone is fundamental getting to a successful enterprise. When I find that that just isn't there, that the owners are a holding company, the owners are trying to get position to sell the company, I, I have to move on. Tom, appreciate what you bring. I want to encourage people to check out your phenomenal book. It was Rocket Science. I love it. I can recommend it without reservation. And I hope you republish the book that came before it because I like it just as much. I love the work you do and I hope you keep it up. Well, thanks, Kevin. And today is a new day for our country. So let's make the best of it. What do you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm always hopeful, but always with a lot of caution. It's time to start talking to our conservative friends say it's time to do something folks yeah you know they've been given a huge huge boost and a huge opportunity i just hope they can be good stewards of it that's going to be the million dollar question absolutely thanks so much tom uh tom a great contributor here on the price of business this interview is going to be featured on usdatareview.com the national news website and uh, delighted to have him always on this program more after this